Before I start with the tutorial, I just wanted to thank you, you guys, for, you know, like, for 60 subscribers. I really appreciate that. Go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, something like that. And I just wanted to sorry for my, you know, my upload schedule messing up around, something like that, because I haven't, I haven't uploaded for one month. Yes, one month, not, like, one week or something. So, yeah, it's about time for me to, you know, to record once again. Yeah, sorry about that. So, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make trails on Scratch. So basically, this will be a bonus episode to my, uh, let's say my platformer series that I made one in the past, something like that, because, you know, like, so many supports from you guys, so I decided to make this bonus episode. So let's create it. So first, let's go to costume. And then we're just gonna name this player because we have a name like this thing right over here. And now you're just going to duplicate this and then name this trails. There we go. Now let's you know like clear all of the stuff I and mean, like unnecessary stuff right over here. So let's get rid of these and then switch back right over here. So now we have the normal costume for the player and a now the costume for uh, the player's trails. So let's go ahead and you know, work on it real quick. So yeah, these are all the scripts. I just hit clean up blocks. So yeah, something like that. Now uh, this is the final result of you cleaning up the blocks. Yeah. So what you're going to do here, just go ahead and grab an our event and then forever and we're just going to do conditions and then let's grab all right over here so we want to make sure you know like trails work every time we walk jump ball jump whatever something like that we need to make it like work all the time otherwise that's not like that's not wall jump something like that. and that's not trails oh my god i'm confusing so yeah let's go so right over here we have a condition right over here let me see it for you there we go. Now we have a condition right over here. This is like the condition, like normal. So now in or and like something like that, we're just going to say, you know, let's make equals. No, let's do more than something like that. And now we're going to use two of these variables, which is x velocity and y velocity. So now every time it moves. So yeah. If we take a look at this script right over here, let me see. Okay, there we go. This script right over here. So as you can see, if we jump or like do some funny stuff, something like this, like if you walk or even jump, your you know like your y or x velocity wouldn't be more than one. So let's set it to more than one and more than one. Something like this. And then we're going to create a clone. There we go. Now if you guys are beginners, actually, when you clone the, you know, like, clone this thing, it will just stuck here, as you can see. So, we need to work on it a little bit, otherwise, this is a very terrible trail, to be honest. So, yeah, let's work on it. So, we have this block right over here, is when I start as a clone. So, basically, when it's cloned, this script will run. So we're just going to say show. And then let's make sure we tidy up the, you know, like the costume. So let, I mean, like make the costume even more like, you know, like let's specific. Let's specific. Let's switch the costume to player just in case everything goes wrong. Anything go wrong so we can like fix it instantly. So yeah, let's put switch costume to trails. So right now, as you can see, it's like this costume right over here that we create. So yeah, we create that costume. So the trails should be gone every time, you know, like, 
uh, let's say every time it's, you know, kind of, I don't know how to say this, but anytime it walks or something, the character walks, something like that. So let's create it. So we're going to use repeat loops. So we're going to repeat, let's do 100. And now let's, you know. Then we're going to go to looks and change the ghost effects. So ghost effects like change the transparency, let's change it by 10. Wait, no. Oh yeah, I guess 10 is a perfect number. And then we can delete the clone after this runs. Let's see. So there we go, now we got it. There we go, as you can see. But right now, uh, if you take a look right over here, when I fall, it's, you know, sometimes just instantly, you know, let's say, uh, it's just instantly, no, sometimes, as you can see right over here, this is not even smooth. So we need to make it smoother somehow. So, yeah. We need to, uh, hold up. I have a very good idea. This is better. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and, you know, let's do it. So we're going to set a fall and we're going to, you know, add some question mark and let's hide this. And then we're going to, you know, then we're going to, uh, let's, you know what, let's get this thing out like a little bit. And then we will replace it with I mean, like with this thing right over here, which is if and else, something like that. So first, let's set fall to true, something like this. So yeah, let's work on the condition, something like that. And then right over here will be false. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Now we got false. And now let's go to uh, the script right over here. I don't. Oh, there we go. I see. Let's go ahead and use like you know, like uh, using operators right now. So let's go ahead and grab this thing right over here and click on variables. Fall if fall equals true, we are going to create a clone once again. We can create a transition clone. So I'm about to jump right over here. So it worked. So like that it worked. It really worked. So yeah, that's it. But uh yeah. But if we clone this like 100 times, if like players have a laggy computer, that could damage the computer. So yeah, I guess to be honest, uh you know if you repeat like more. Or it didn't help you with almost everything, that's... I guess I just already broke something, I guess. So, yeah, I just want you to keep it 10. Yeah, something like that. Because it didn't matter with the length anyway. But if you increase, if you want to increase the length, you need to work on this thing, and then change it to whatever. Something like this. Now, this is much longer, but I uh, don't even like this kind of stuff right over here. It's too weird, so I'm just going to keep it 10. Let's go. 10 and switch this to 10. There we go. So now, this should be unlaggy. Hold up. To prove that this is unlaggy, let me turn, let me turn like everything like all the way to best battery life. This way, you can know is it laggy or not. So it seems like 10, you know, like 10, uh, let's say 10 times would be very laggy. As you can see, it's really laggy. So yeah, I just want you to keep it like, so yeah, it's super laggy. So let's decrease it. Let's do repeat five to close it. So this should work probably. All right, I guess the you know like the perfect thing is to like repeat ten times and change code 
effect by 10 because that's the best. There we go. Let me switch up my performance to like best performance right now because you know I don't want to get lag anymore. There we go. So that's it with today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to press like and you know subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Join my Discord server. Bye. Now I've learned to never help.